All right, YouTube, David Harry here. And in this video, I'm going to give you a quick look at what Microsoft's Xbox Cloud Gaming service looks like running on my MacBook Air M1. So on my desktop here, I've got a shortcut. Now the URL that I'm going to here, I will have this pop up on the screen right now, and I will also have a link to it in the description below. So let me just get into this, okay. Now from here, I've got a sign in, but don't forget you can only use this service if you're using the ultimate version of Game Pass, which allows you to do the cloud game stream and stuff as well. Okay, so let me just go to sign in here. Now I'm just gonna have to pop in my details, so give me a moment. Okay, so now once logged in, we are presented with this page here. So what I'm going to do is to go full screen with this page. Okay, so I've now gone full screen with the interface and immediately this will start looking very familiar to anybody who uses, well, basically any type of console system. So what I'm gonna do now is just navigate through it, but what I will be using is my PS4 game controller. So right now I've got my PS4 game controller Bluetoothed to my MacBook Air M1. You can also use Xbox controllers and probably a whole bunch of other controllers as well. But right now what you're looking at is me navigating using my controller. So like I say, to all intents and purpose right now, we're basically looking at this interface as if it's where just a game controller interface, which is really, really cool because it's very easy to use and it is also very familiar. So the navigating through this is just absolutely dead easy. It's brilliant. So there's not really much to think about, which is awesome if you're just a casual gamer like me. Now, th there's a couple of things here which I'll go through before it's kind of kick into a little game. Everything here that you can see is all playable as a streamed game. So there is a huge amount of games here. Now we've got like say these sub menus here. So classic, indie, family friendly sports, all these various little sub genres here and stuff. And in amongst there, I'm not too sure, but there is I think at least a couple of hundred or maybe a few hundred games in there. So it's actually it's tons but like we'd already have said as well unfortunately you can only get at this if you have got the ultimate version of the game pass however it does make the ultimate version of the game pass a very compelling thing to sign up to because what you're seeing here you can basically do this from android devices and loads of devices to be honest so it becomes a really really cool thing because you can access the cloud gamer from a ton of you know other devices now obviously right now this is not a dedicated app or anything we're just doing this going straight in via the safari browser maybe further down the line it becomes like dedicated apps and stuff but nonetheless right now it's just like something that we get through via html through the browser anyways so i think that's probably enough of all this shown now just a couple of quick things here Although my internet at the moment that I'm on is 70 megabits per second, I don't really seem to get a very good like looking stream as it were. To me, it only looks about 720p. And sometimes I don't even think it's 60 frames per second. Also the latency that I'm, I'm getting on my system at the moment, I'm basically responding up to three quarters of a second later from like the commands that I'm typing on my controller. So. I can't actually play anything competitively at all because my responses are far too slow with this. Now I'm just gonna surmise that that is my experience of this and that is not typical for everybody. So yeah, just be aware that, you know, right now, my particular experience here isn't absolutely, well, say it, it's not that good. It, it's pretty bad to be honest. But nonetheless, it is something that other people might find to work for them a lot better than it works for me. Okay, so like I said, I think I've probably shown enough of this. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna go into, uh, let's see, PUBG here. I'm just gonna go into this and I will just play through a few minutes of it. I'm not gonna talk through it. I'm just gonna allow it to just play through, give people an idea of what it looks like on this particular system that I'm using it on. But once again, don't forget, this is all down to uh, like, you know, my internet connection and my latency, which is like, you know, the kind of restraining factor here to the gameplay. So what I'm gonna do is just 
enter into the game. Now, the other thing I'm going to do here, I'm just going to speed through in a second because quite often this can take about two to three minutes or maybe even longer to connect you know to get into a game now if anybody's interested in this let me know and what i will do i will do another video which will show exactly how long this takes to get from the interface into the game because it can be very frustrating once again it might just be me i don't know anyway so yeah what i've shown you here is just a sample of what the interface looks like and what to expect if you launch this on a macbook air or indeed any laptop to be honest but i'm using the macbook air m1 right now anyways what i'm going to do i'm going to fast forward through this until i'm into a game and then i will just get on with stuff and as soon as i die then yes the game will end and the video will end so for anybody who's watched this video i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now